Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition. And we are here with the Leo Play Empire and we have just popped through that wormhole that we have been uh, poking out, our very first wormhole that we have ever explored with the Leo Play. So I'm very, very excited about that. Maybe there's a good chance that we will eventually run into the Finaw. <gasps> Look how many wormholes there are over here. But we have never done any exploring on this side of the universe. So this is very thrilling and new territory for us to start breaking into. It looks like there's already several super awesome double sun little clusters that we can possibly come over and make colonies at. Where's our home? I think our home is going to be... Wow! Wow! We're so far from home! We literally jumped to the other side of like the, the center of the universe. Oh my goodness! So we are a long way from home now, but hopefully that means there'll be lots of treasures and plenty of plants to conquer. So I did pop back home really quickly because we had an eco-disaster that needed tending to, but I also managed to snag up a ton of spices. So we are bringing with us many, many of the delicious barbecue spices that the Leo please specialize in, and hopefully we'll be able to trade with uh, some of the other species that we run into here oh my gosh wow <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to trade with some of the other species and maybe like claim this place are you kidding me <gasps> and it's a mushroom it's a mushroom empire well, you know what they say about roasted mushrooms, I suppose? They're supposed to be very good for your health. Whoa, slow down there, Bessie. Let's get a good look at these guys. So there's our little mushroom empire. And I suppose they live in a very peaceful land. Look at this, they only have herbivores. They don't have any carnivores of any type. So we might just have to come in. Can we make them happy? Or I'm gonna threaten them with our crop circles. Take that. All right, oh, it didn't work. All right, let's try threatening them again. Is it going to leave something? There we go. We're going to leave some like threatening warning messages scattered onto the ground that they're going to have to interpret. All right, there you guys go. Spend the next like several thousand years trying to interpret what the aliens have left on your planet. Oh, oh my gosh. What are those? <laughs> they're just the ice monsters. What on earth? It's just, they're, they're the coolest looking plants here too. Do I have, I don't have any room for them. Ah, I don't have any room for them. Fooey. All right, so we've run into ice monsters here. We're gonna have to like set ourselves up a colony because I can't do any proper exploring when my inventory is full. And then what's the last thing they have here? They have these little jammins and apparently they've got eyes on either side of their head and a giant beak in the middle. Interesting. So these are our first finds popping on to the other side. Wow, these plants are so cool. <gasps> They've even got one of those little kiwi planets I like so much that are like shaped like a, almost like a, a die, kind of a rounded out die. Very cool. Well, I kind of want this system. I am not sure how you get rid of, um, somebody who already owns a system like that maybe we'll uplift them and then we will buy their system out long range but at least we don't have to worry about anybody trying to like claim them it's just like the lands of the double suns look at these there's a pair of double suns right here too so another rare galactic formation right here we might claim this area this is amazing because it's just like double sun after double sun because there's this one there's that one and then I know I saw a couple others. Yeah, there's one over here. I'm pretty sure this is another one too. So let's pop up here. We're gonna have to claim one of them pretty soon. Wow, this one's a little bit bleak, you guys. A little bit bleak, but it has another one of those die planets. So that's pretty cool. Wow, but they're very empty. There's not really a lot to them. They're, they're extremely empty. Whoa. Okay, well, we're going to have to set up something because we're going to run out of energy. We do have a couple of our allies with us today, and those are actually the adorable little dragon allies that we have. Uh, any of the small dragon species we run into, we like to say that they actually fit in the palm of the hands. Hello there. They actually fit in the palm of our hands. Okay, no pirates. Uh, there we go. Take that, pirates. All right, we blew the pirates up. My allies are okay. Just as I was talking about how cute they are, then they end up showing up and trying to kill my, my little allies. But we run into a lot of species out in the universe that kind of look like dragons. And so we like to say that they are small dragons that fit in the palm of the Leopolis hands. All right, this is an empty planet too. All right, well, let's pop over. Let's pop over to this double sun. 
We're gonna have to put down a claim somewhere soon. This is as good a place as any, I guess. All right, ooh, and there's something way over there. Cool. This one's a good one, actually, because it's got blue, 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 pink. I'm pretty sure there's, uh, is it blue, blue, blue? Oh yeah, it's all blues and a pink, but this is a pretty cool place, and it's a double. I mean, that makes sense to have so much blue spice when we are on like a double blue star here. So this is cool. This is our new base of operations. I like this planet the most because it's green. So we're gonna come over and we will settle this. And we brought our space cats with us. We're not gonna be lonely because we're gonna have our space cats. So let's see, is this terraforming? If it's not a terraforming tool, then it's gonna have to wait. Cause I literally can't pick it up. <gasps> it's a gemstone. How neat is that? I love it. So we're just like finding rare gemstones on this planet, this very green planet. I like it. I wanna leave the gemstone there. Um, I hope pirates don't come and like steal it from me. I will be very sad if pirates come and steal it. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll put down a colony. Well, we'll let's try terraforming this place first and then we'll put down a colony and get this place up and going so that we can live here. Um, I think the only thing it really needs is actually atmosphere. Stay green, stay beautiful and green. Maybe I don't wanna put a colony down here because the, the colors are gonna change. All right, I'm gonna leave my treasure here because I don't want the colony, I don't want the, the colors to change. I'm gonna leave my emerald here. All right, and hopefully pirates won't come and steal these. I think some of you guys have told me that you can leave your treasure on a planet as long as you don't put a colony on it and then pirates won't steal them. So we'll have to see. We'll leave the treasure here on this beautiful planet, my, my mossy treasure planet. Kind of goes with the mossy treasure chest that I have in zoo crafting. And we'll go ahead and claim one of the other planets. One of the planets that has plants on it. Let's go with this guy over here. Because he's already got a green a green uh, streak behind the planet. Means that it's an easier planet to terraform. And we're running a little bit low on energy. Okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. I've got some, uh, some cool cats who can probably handle this. And it already has all of the plants. So I just need to add some kitty cats down. Well, let's put down the canary cat. I think that it'd be happy here. So the canary cats are going to roam around. The space caterpillars might do well here. Who else do I have that is a herbivore? The ruby zebrax actually would probably love this place. So we'll put down the ruby zebrax. And then the tabby tiger cat. Um, let's do the foo cat. No, let's do the tabby tiger cat. I think that the Leoplia would want to have a, a bit of a home, not a taste of home, because the cats are one of the few things they don't actually eat, but a bit of home. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and add in a little bit of atmosphere. Don't need to add in too much, just enough to get things moving and grooving. Then we've got some plants I can put in. And we will get ourselves a colony established on this side of the wormhole. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, the denubes. I love these plants. All right, come on. Come on. Come here, my beautiful atmosphere. Let me put down my plants without you like bursting into flames. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. There we go. All right, there's that one. This is a good medium plant. And I actually like this one. This one as well. Wait, that's not what I wanted. This one, there we go. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love terraforming. It never gets old, even after all of these years. I love it. All right, well, the space caterpillars can go down. Um, I might as well add the deer cat in because it looks like the, grand, the landscape is changing. And we'll add in these cool birds. So there we go, now it's uh, now it's all solidified again. I do have a small plant, do I have a medium plant? I do not have enough medium plants to be able to finish terraforming this place, but I can put down a colony. And there we go, that's what we need if we wanna be able to have energy. If you run out of energy when you're flying around space, your ship explodes. That would not be a good thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead Hello, my little colony. Let's go ahead and get you started. This is officially the furthest any colony has ever been from Leopoli um, Empire. Oh, this borrow actually looks really cool. From the Leopoli Empire. So they are on the far, far, far outer reaches of space. And hopefully we can make them happy out here. Um, Let's see, Desert Solitude. Let's try to go with something. This is supposed to make a little bit of an impression. Practical, but make a little bit of an impression on the people who who like might be out here. 
Operation Desert Blade? Yeah, it's gonna be... Or how about the Black Diamond Mine? Let's do Operation Desert Blade. Ooh, let's do the Desert Generator. That looks really cool. All right. So we'll set this up and then we'll get some entertainment up and going. We'll get some houses put down maybe over here. All right, how did I set that over there by accident? All right, we'll get a factory up and going maybe over here, over here. And then a little house put down here. We'll put down another factory. It's not like I desperately am in need of a ton of money because this doesn't really earn you a lot of money even putting down a ton of factories. But it would be nice if we could get something going. All right, maybe another factory? Yeah. And then I'll put down another entertainment building. Like so? No, that still doesn't make him happy enough. What about another house? Like so? Ooh, there we go. Wow. Actually, suddenly these guys may not be the happiest, but they're making me a ton of money, so I'm happy. All right, we'll come on in. I love decorating the towns too. Sometimes it's kind of like funny to spend time doing it, but I love decorating the towns. All right, the blooms of euphoria are actually one of the Leo Plea's favorite plants. They love spiky plants. Spiky plants are just the coolest plants to them. And then they also love the lamps of delight. Probably like the cleansing fires you have to walk through before you get into the city. That would make sense. So we'll put a few of these guys down. I love the detail that you can choose to go into or you can completely ignore depending on how you want to set up your towns. The gushing smiles. Now those are some cleansing fires. What? Why am I not putting these down instead? Forget the little ones. Wow. All right, well, that'll be the entrance to town right there. And then the snappy sprout. It's actually a like carnivorous plant and it's perfect for the Leo play. So there we go. So we've got their whole little town set up now. Do they have, oh, they need a little spice truck. We're gonna use the cool little like golden tank because it's just so ridiculous and I love it. And then they need a little airplane. So let's use the one that has like, it looks like you've captured a creature. I need to find where that one is because it's like you have a little creature trapped inside of your plane. Um, where is it? Where is it? There it is, there it is, the epic transport. I love it. All right, there we go. So these guys should be good to go and we will leave them be. Oh, and we can actually, hello, congratulations. Let me trade with you perhaps. Oh, actually they're very happy to have some of the taste of home with our green spice, so I'll trade that to them. And off we go to continue exploring you guys and possibly snagging a medium plant so that we can continue terraforming that spot. Phew, all right. Mission achieved with getting one of the awesome uh, like double sun planets tagged. And now we're gonna poke around over here a little bit and see what we happen to stumble on. Anything, anything that might be pretty decent in terms of finds, discoveries. Maybe we can find, ooh. Maybe we can find a planet that we can try to conquer right away. That would be very interesting if we could just like take out like a whole planet immediately. All right, what are you guys doing? So these are the Skiles. And what are they up to? They actually have like very eco-friendly cities. <gasps> they have like a little beach house <laughs> factory. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Look, you can actually see them training. What are they training? I think it's like the wheels of prosperity. They're like gamblers down here. That's so hilarious. We've stumbled on like beach houses for them. I've never seen that little spinny thing. So I guess these guys follow like the path of um, the path of the merchant. And then you can see, oh, there's some little, are these little crabby creatures? So there's a couple little creatures down there. So the stomachos, and then what are these other ones? The Dwobbles. So the Stomachos and the Dwobbles are the two creatures here. Yeah, just the normal Maxis creatures. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for some of the others. That's pretty awesome. All right, so they sell beach house stuff. <laughs> and they seem pretty peaceful and they seem to enjoy gambling. So we'll remember that. They don't have anything in their system really. So, all right, we'll keep an eye on them. We will watch their development with a critical eye. And then let's see, I think there might be one or two of the like double sun planets I haven't explored yet. So we'll kind of wiggle our way over there. Now this one looks kind of cool. I feel like something, okay, somebody's sending us a message. The Hollow Cresty Empire. You're an area of space governed by the Grand Council. Welcome. Welcome. <gasps> Yay! 
It's my little dragon friends! Oh, let's go visit them! Hello! I'm so glad to see you guys exist here too! Oh! Come be my friend. Is this your home planet? I am from the Leoplea. I come in peace just because you fit into the palm of my hand. I should have said something a little more dramatic, but I got excited to see them. <laughs> All right, so these guys, they have a medium happiness ray. We'll go ahead and buy it just because that's going to make them happy. Um, I have a ton of yellow spice, but I'm going to sit and wait till like somebody will buy it for a ridiculous price. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make them accept my gift, and then I'm going to... They are the philosophy of order. We seek to bring all nations, races, and empires to order. We offer the super technology of static cling. This neutralizes the messy turrets of hostile cities against our spaceships and allies once we reason with their leadership. That's fascinating. Thank you for letting me know. And we would prosper more by working together. There we go. So we have just added them another another tiny dragon empire, like itty bitty dragon, little dragonfly zipping all around us, to our ranks. They have some beautiful plants. I highly approve of their their greenery, which means, of course, I'm going to have to buy this planet out from under them in the future. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like they've got some space slugs wiggling around. Oh my gosh! What is that? Come here, you! They've got the frogs on the mushroom, and they have got the deep sea dragon. That must be like a cousin of theirs. <gasps> it's so cool. It's so cool. I like it, you guys. I like it. All right, so the deep sea dragon, absolutely amazing. Very happy to have that added into my ranks. So yeah, I like their planet. We should start a trade with them sometime in the future. If I try starting it right now, I'm not gonna have the money I need to buy their home planet out from under them, which is something I do enjoy doing because then you get so many spice so quickly, so easily, it's just glorious. And they've already spread all the way out here, it seems. So what is their other little planet up to? All right, they've just got a little empty thing. Well, technically I could teleform that for them and they would really love us, but we're doing okay right now. Let's poke around a little bit more. I need to make sure I don't lose sight of where the heck, like, home, the wormhole to home is. <gasps> what? Two spink, just pink spink? <laughs> Two pink spice planets back to back. Okay, we're gonna have to claim this before our little dragon friends do. And it's got a really awesome ocean. All right, so let's see if I can find, where can I just like throw my colony down in the middle of the ocean? Oh, that would have been too cool. And this is cool because it's like a pink spice island planet. So let's throw a colony out on this island and see what happens. All right, pink spice island planet. Here we go. <gasps> we need to add those beach houses in, like the little beach houses that the other, the other guy has. Oh, okay, I need to improve the terror score and then we'll add in the beach houses that they have and we can just be like, yeah, we're importing what they sell. That is so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust the planetary atmosphere. We actually want the hot vacuum cloud, which I think is gonna get rid of some of the ocean. But in this case, that's okay because there's a little bit too much ocean. All right, I love terraforming. It never gets boring, it's so cool. Wow, look at the giant cliffs. <gasps> look at that. You can see the like mountains under the water there. That is so much fun. So much fun. All right, a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. All right, that's unlocked, but I forgot I need to put a carnivore down. So let's put the deep sea dragon down. Um, Come on, come on, deep sea dragon. All right, so that's completed. And then I need to put down like a small plant. This guy's kind of cool. He's kind of a beach. What? Come on. Beachy plant, and then let's see, I already put a small plant down. Do I have another medium plant? Did I use up all my medium plants? <laughs> no! I had the terraforming going so well, and then I messed it up. Oh, fooey. All right, let's see, can I grab another plant really quickly? Hey, hey, do you have a plant? No? Is that really all we have? Just like the two little, I thought there was another planet there. Apparently there is, I just don't know where it is. All right, well, let's go look for a medium plant. I can't believe how often we're kind of caught with our plants down, so to say. Ha 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 ha, Siri's making terrible puns. But we'll come over here, medium plant. There's a medium plant, looks, looks decent enough. I will snag it up. Do you need anything? It looks like these guys need to have a tabby space cat. 
because we're gonna let our tabby space cats go and roam the world. I think I put it down to roughly. Did it make it? It made it. Phew. And then we'll let the, who else should we put down? Maybe the canary cat? I really wanna keep the canary cat on me. The space caterpillar? Let's put the little zebrax down. Um, yeah, the ruby zebrax can wander over here too. All right, there we go. So we've just completed this terror score just because we could. And I snagged a plant. And we're going to continue moving on back to the other spot because we need to... Oh, I might claim that system, but I'm not sure. We need to hunt out the best systems because we just got into the neighborhood. We don't want to lose our chance. We don't want to lose our chance, you guys, at finding the best systems. It looks like they found some treasure of some kind here. So we'll look into that in just a second. Um, and here's a medium plant. There. Stabilize our little terror score. Uh, let's see. We have the Foo Cat. We can have the Sea Slugs. So there we go. All the awesome things we found already. Um, the Tabby Tiger Cat. The Foo Cat. I think the Space Caterpillar Deer Cat. The Canary Cat would match this area pretty well. And then... Um, uh, maybe the Swamp Cat. Not really. The Tabby Cat again. Because it's a, it's a family favorite. Alright, for the Leo play. Alright, now let's find out what kind of treasure. Is it a terraforming tool? Yeah, it's a terraforming tool. Alright, so let's figure out what kind of terraforming tool we have unearthed from the oceans here. Normally, my rule is that I use the terraforming tool on the planet that we find. But I really like the way this planet looks. So, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just gonna let it be and apparently we've made it into a t3 already dang all right Well, we'll pop over to this planet and use the gear tool and we'll experiment with the gear uh, Ooh, but this one actually looks uh, dang it. It looks really cool. It looks like a little sleeping Dragon it doesn't or like a little armadillo. That's all curled up. I don't want to ruin its cool look All right, what about over here? Are you are you an ugly looking planet? I can just smack some things down on it's kind of generic, so we can afford the, the gear canyon. So let's go ahead and put those down. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay, I did something cool. And then we can do gear rivers. So we'll have the gear canyon transform into a gear river. I love the random algorithm that it follows. It has a bit of a logic behind it, but otherwise it just kind of goes where it wants. And that is with the beautiful gas giant next to it. So this is going pretty good, you guys. We've plunked down a couple colonies. We're still poking around. We've already found some amazing creatures and made a new ally and another adorable little dragon creature. So I think we're gonna continue poking around. We definitely need to add in that beach house, that beach house city. Okay, we'll add in those beach house things on this planet and then we'll keep poking around and maybe find somebody to just start conquering right off the bat because that would keep things very interesting. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.